Why the hell would Victor take the bearer's side? For a share in Lubor's ill-gotten gill, perhaps? to Lubor. He didn't do anything wrong. Here to help me pack? Thanks, but I'll be traveling light. I'm almost finished already, in fact. You're really going to go through with this, then? I am. But before I go, there is one small issue I'd like your assistance with. Well, two, in fact. If it's within my power to help you, I will. It's the children. I refuse to let them share in my disgrace. And if I leave them here, they surely will. Our friendship would see them ostracized forever. But I can't take them with me either. I can think of only one place where they are certain to be safe, and provided for, and loved. The hideaway. Of course. The children would be more than welcome. Thank you, Clive. I will not forget this. Lubor! Are you still here? What is it, Ferda? You look pale. There's been a flood in the Velcroy. A damn big one. The League of Outlaws encampment was completely submerged in ether. What? Every last one of the bastards has turned. And they're headed this way. Bandits are one thing. But Akashic bandits are quite another. The town guard won't stand a chance against them. We need to evacuate. There's no time to lose. Further, gather the men. The Akashic may strike at any moment. We must make ready to cover the townspeople's escape. Well, what are you waiting for? Yes, my lord. Clive, change of plan. The children stay with me for now. I need you to find Conrad and Natalie. Tell them to prepare for a full and immediate evacuation. Understood. I'll do what I can to convince everyone else. Wish me luck. What's an you have to listen to me. They're coming. You need to evacuate. Know your place, Bearer. Why do they always have to make such a fuss outside? Huh. What's the commotion? That's... Ah, it's you. What do you want, Lord Underhill? To pass on an important message. There's been an ether flood out in the Velcroy. The camp where the so-called League of Outlaws were gathering has been swallowed. They're no longer just bandits. They're Akashic now. And they could be here at any moment. You need to begin preparing for a full-scale evacuation right away. Oh, do we? And who was it who gave you this disturbing news, might I ask? Lubor, perhaps? The man spreading the same poison out in the square as we speak. You may believe his lies, my lord. But we know better. But why would he lie about something like this? Some twisted attempt at revenge, perhaps. If he had not been unmasked, he may well have been elected our leader. A great honor for one of his kind. One he might well feel aggrieved at having been denied. Lord Underhill, forgive me, but it has become all too evident where your sympathies lie. Lubor cannot be trusted, and neither, therefore, can you. You may not trust me, but for the sake of your people, ask yourselves if there is any chance that this is true. There isn't. You can be certain of that. Now be off with you. You're making a mistake. Come, Clive. If our words will not move them, then we must find another way to help save the town. You're right. Let's speak to Lord Ferda. Outside! It's driving away our customers! I think we'd better shut up shop for today. Give people one less thing to throw at him. 
What's Lubor raving about now? What commotion is this, I ask myself? A sudden stampede of customers towards my humble stall? No, it was a stampede of customers away from Lubor's. Lord Ferda. Sid, what's wrong? I went to warn Conrad and Natalie about the Akashic, but... They wouldn't listen. They've convinced themselves that nothing Lubor says can be trusted. The bloody fools. Which means the town guard can't be counted on for support. But I can. If there's anything I can do to help you defend Dalamil, you only have to ask. I appreciate it. Sid! Ferda! I've been looking for you everywhere! Victor? I thought you'd left. I couldn't abandon a friend in need. And Blue Boy is in need at this very moment. Come quickly! You have to believe me! The Akashic are coming! They don't eat, they don't sleep, they don't tire, and they don't care who they kill. They're unlike anything that's come before. There will be no parley, no mercy granted! We may have saved the town once, but this is different. I do not ask that you forgive me, but please believe me. If you do not run, you will die. You will all fucking die! Huh? <laughs> You'd like that, wouldn't you, Bearer? Yeah, with us out of the way, your kind will be free to claim Dalamil for yourselves. It's you who should run! <laughs> Run, Bearer! Yeah, yeah run! run. Yeah. Far, far away! Run! Just go on, Yeah. Go on, then. Go on, 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 What did Lubor ever do to you? Hmm? He solves all your stupid problems and he keeps all of you safe. You know there's nothing he wouldn't do for this town. Who was it who made that cleaver you use every day, Conrad? And what about your counting table, Natalie? Who fixed that? Whose men make sure the streets are clean so all your boots don't get dirty? Who spends all day, every day, making sure things run smoothly around here? And none of you ever say thank you, ever! But did Lubor ever complain? Well, does he ever stop smiling? He keeps this whole place going! And you act like he doesn't even exist! <laughs> Lubo, we have heard enough. No! Wait! We will not run. The town guard will not abandon the very place it is sworn to protect. And I will not give up for lost the stores that we labored so hard to fill. <sighs> Sir.
So tell us, how do you propose we deal with these Akashic of yours? We won't run, but we will fight. All right then. <clears throat> Fine. Gather round if you don't want to die. Allow me to explain the situation. The ether flood occurred near the village of Cheratina, deep in the Velcroy. The place had been abandoned for years, until the League of Outlaws decided to make it their base of operations. Now they're all turned, and if the scouts' reports are correct, heading in this direction. They are mindless monsters, driven only by hate and rage. And they are utterly unpredictable. With the bandits, we at least knew how and where they were likely to attack. When these creatures come, Delamil will have the bitterest fight it has ever faced on its hands. The town guard will muster at the north gate. The rest of us will take the south. Both forces will provide men to serve as scouts and messengers, ready to spread word of the size and nature of the Akashic force as soon as it is spotted. And as soon as it has been, we will converge on its position and see that it is driven back from Dalamil at all costs. Conrad, can I count on the support of the town guard? Always. I leave the selection and coordination of the messengers in your hands, Victor, and the command of our men in yours, Ferda. If you would both be so kind, consider it done. As you wish. Natalie, I would ask that you and your people have the townsfolk barricade themselves inside the bathhouse. And tell the merchant not to waste time securing anything beside the essentials. Preserving life is our one and only concern. As long as we survive, it doesn't matter what trinkets we might lose. Our riches can be regained. And if anyone doubts that, let it be known that the Briar's Kiss stands ready to cover any losses. Very well. I shall tell them. Where do I fit into this plan? Where else but the most perilous place of all? I would like you to travel to the home of our erstwhile League of Outlaws, Cheratina itself. The main host is most likely still there, and Dalamil will not be safe until it is eradicated root and branch. A little gardening. How pleasant. <sighs> I doubt it. I have a feeling these weeds will be particularly stubborn. Luckily, so am I. So you are. All right then, we all know what we have to do. Now it's simply a matter of doing it. For Dalamil. Looks like everyone's ready. I'd better not keep them waiting. Everyone, to the bathhouse! Lobo was telling the truth. I may not be a soldier, but I can fight. Will we be safe in the bathhouse? Should we not run? Mom? This way! Everyone inside! Quickly! Good day, my lord. My thanks. Will we be safe in the bathhouse? Get all these weapons into the hands of the watch.
Good. That will keep some of them out. Any man sighting an Akashic is to raise the alarm immediately. The messengers will see that our entire force rallies to that position. We stand together or we fall alone. Do not forget that. Dalamal will be safe with us. You have my word. Let's go. Fly, Ambrosia. inside. Yeah! 
The League is disbanded. I should get back to Dalamil and see how the others fared. All the Akashic we were able to find have been dealt with. Seems that might be the last of them. Last of them here, perhaps. Lubo, Sip, Clive has returned. Clive! What news from Cheritina? It's done. Root and branch. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Thank you, my lord. Friends, the Horde has been driven back. The Akashic have been defeated. And we need not fear the arrival of any more, thanks to Clive. Victory is ours. We bloody did it. We saved Dalamil. Lubor, allow me to apologize. After all you have done for this town, we should never have doubted you. But we did, and for that we are truly sorry. We only hope that you can forgive us. We need you, Lubor. Dalimil needs you. So, if you would still like to be considered for the position of mayor, you have our backing. You do remember that I'm a bearer, don't you? We do. But that is not a stain on your character. It is a stain on ours. We thought only of what we perceived bearers to be, not what you truly are. The man who saved Dalimil twice over. I see. But I will only accept your proposal on two conditions. Name them. Firstly, that you will both do everything in your power to rally your people to my cause. If the Town Guard and the Merchants League do not accept my leadership, it will be doomed from the start. Unity is the key to defending Dalamil, and I do not doubt that we shall need to call on our combined strength again. When that time comes, I will expect us all to pull together just as we did today. Of course. You have our word. And secondly, you will accept that if I am to lead you, the mistreatment of bearers must end here in Dalamil. Any bearer within our walls shall be afforded the same rights as any other citizen. They will not be judged by what they are, but who they are. As we failed to do, and came so close to losing everything. We agree to your conditions. And we have only one in return. That you continue to work for the good of Dalimil, as you always have. Condition accepted. Well then. It seems my mayorship is all but confirmed. Do I get some sort of special hat? How fickle fate can be. Not so long ago, I had resigned myself to leaving Dalamil in disgrace. And now, I find myself her leader. Here for everything. Lubo, about the children. Fear not, you are of course relieved of your responsibility. I would sooner face another horde of Akashic than see them brought up as outlaws. I'll make sure they're safe here. I don't doubt that you will. And not just the children, but everyone in Dalamel. I'll do my best.
Can't have all your hard work going to waste. I shall devote my every effort to creating a haven for man and bearer both. Just like a certain someone else I know. Someone to whom I owe a debt of gratitude. I knew they'd change their tune. Dalamil would be lost without Master Lubor. As they're only too aware. I doubt they'd have accepted any other bearer as their master. Well, I certainly didn't expect it, but Dalamul seems more united than ever. I'll have to redouble my efforts to bring Kostnis under control. Can't have Lubor showing me up again. From bearer boy to mayor of Dalamil, how far Lubor has come, and how richly he deserves it. You were with the men of the rock, weren't you? Thanks for your help fending off the Akashic. Just settling my debts. If this town hadn't taken me in after Lord Kupka fell, I don't know what would have become of me. Only right that I repay the favor.
should have picked on someone your own size. deserve a rest. Ready, go. This would be easy. Safe.
Come on. Run like the wind. Straight home now. I made sure our fallen comrades were laid to rest. And they can rest easy, knowing that their sacrifice wasn't in vain. That justice was done. As for us survivors, well, we've just got to keep at it. Keep the family together. For their sakes. Quinton, I have a proposal for you. Do you now? Something tells me you'll be asking more of me than a cask of goat and gold. Go on then. Propose. You'd have me convince the chiefs and chamberlains of the realm that they should simply swallow their pride and do the one thing that has proved impossible for thousands of years. Was there anything else? Perhaps I can fetch you a meat pie as well. I know it's a lot to ask, but I can think of none better suited to the role. And you'd have me give up what little I have left to do it. I told you, Clive. The people of Lost Wing are my family, and I cannot abandon them. You'll have to find someone else. I'm sorry to hear that. So am I. And why might that be? 
what he's asking. How is it any different to what you've done so far? They want you to speak for those who can't speak for themselves. That's what you do best. <laughs> if it's the vineyard you're worried about, we'll see that the grapes are picked and the tons filled. You know we will. It's not that. Then what is it? You said yourself we're family. Don't you trust us? You know that's not what I'm... Then what are you saying? That only we are worth saving? Why turn your back on everyone else? You convinced us we could build new lives for ourselves, and if you can do that, who's to say you couldn't convince the entire realm? A stirring argument. I fear that any rejoinder I make might fall somewhat flat by comparison. So you'll join us? <sighs> Where do you need me? Field Marshal Havel will want to speak with you in person. He's currently in Port Isolde. I can arrange for a party of curse-breakers to accompany you there. That would be very much appreciated. I hear the roads are far from safe these days. <laughs> Hopefully not for long. My uncle will want to know that his plan is taking shape. Any statesmen we speak with are liable to resist our entreaties if they feel that what little power remains to them is at stake. They must be dealt with skillfully. I shall not repeat the errors of my past. Reckon Master Quinton could argue an egg back up a hen's quim if he set his mind to it. Unwavering will and an unbreakable bond. Do you really think we're strong enough? To save the world? Of course. To have overcome father's political enemies? Of that I'm less certain. Especially knowing what we know now. What mother was truly capable of. Perhaps these bands would have helped. Knowing he was with us would have made all the difference. Father always fought for what he believed was right.
It wasn't until that night at Phoenix Gate that I realized I had never fought for anything. I always had someone else to do the fighting for me. No matter how fate conspired against him, he never lost heart, never looked back, never stopped fighting. To me, he was the greatest of men. I've been trying to live up to his ideals ever since. We all have, Clive. We all have. And we'll keep trying. Because that's what he would have wanted. <laughs> what he would have done himself. Even if it meant standing against the very gods in the heavens. I shall be borrowing this, Father, if I may. That you might watch over us as we follow in your footsteps. <laughs> We won't lay you down. Onward then. Onward. To the end. And to a new beginning. <laughs>